Want to add an effect like this to your next video? Today in less than 5 minutes I'll show you how. So the first thing is to pick out some video that you want to work with. Next, make a copy of that video and paste it on top of a new video track right above the original. So for now, all of the edits that we're going to make are going to be on this top video track and we'll leave the original as it is. Next, go to the Video Effects tab and scroll down until you see Gradient Map and then go ahead and add that to your clip. Now, I have already made a couple of custom gradient maps, so that's why my screen may have stuff on it that yours doesn't. If you want, you can pause the video and write down my exact settings for this particular gradient map. There's three different sets of numbers, but what I would suggest is just get in there and play around with it for a bit. Find out what's going to work best for the video that you're working with. Now all I'm doing is moving the mouse across this color box until I see... That's kinda cool. We'll go with that. Now before we exit out of this menu, take note of the order at the top. We have Pan Crop and then Gradient. For this project to work, you need to drag Pan and Crop over to the right. So no matter how many effects you apply, Pan and Crop has to be last. So go ahead and click on Pan and Crop now. And we're gonna zoom in slightly. Now if you try zooming in like I am and find that it's not working, make sure lock aspect ratio and the size about center icons are both selected. If they're not, instead of zooming, you'll just be stretching the video. So I'm going to right click the mouse to restore and now I'll zoom back in slightly and go down here and delete all those extra keyframes that I accidentally created when I was telling you about zoom and stretch. Okay, now we're all good. So right below where video keyframes are located is a box that says mask. Go ahead and click on that now. Doing so opens up the mask menu, where on the left you'll see the rectangle or square mask creation tool. Next we're going to drag out the shape of a rectangle over the edge of our video. So notice what happened. With a mask, the blue gradient map and zoom effect is now applied only within that rectangle shape that we just made, instead of on the whole video. Now just like video tracks, you can add keyframes to a mask and make them move. So for instance, if we click on the end of the clip and drag this rectangle over, notice that it's not just adding color, it's also acting as a magnifying glass since we applied that little bit of zoom. That right there, that's the basics of this effect. So what else can we do with it? Well, let's click back on the pan and crop icon, and before we do anything, we'll delete all of our old keyframes. Next, we're going to tilt this rectangle. Oops, I forgot a keyframe. Okay, so now let's go to the end of the clip, and we're going to drag our mask across just like we did last time. And then we'll drag this keyframe all the way to the end. Now let's close this and play it back. Alright, not bad. How's the project coming on your end? Are you watching while you edit or are you watching first and then going to apply this knowledge later? I'm all about whatever works for you. So let's get a little fancy. Let's make a copy of our top video track. This is the one that we've been editing and we're going to go back into Pan and Crop. Click on the first mask keyframe and just drag it off a bit to the right. And we'll do the same with the last keyframe as well. And while we're here in this lovely menu, let's change the color of the gradient map so that we're working with a different shade of blue for this mask. Okay, we'll close that. Ooh, I like how that looks already. Then we'll exit out of this menu and play it back. That's not bad. Okay, but what are some other ideas we could try? Well, if we want to make the blue really stand out, we could go in and make the original video black and white. So let's go to Video Effects, and the effect is simply called Black and White. We'll drag this onto our original video. Now let's see what that looks like. Peter, you make anything look cool. Now what if we remove the original video altogether? So I'm just going to mute that track and we'll play this back. So now we have our mask revealing the scene out of darkness, and maybe that's something that would look really good in your project. Or you could go ahead and just add in a completely different video underneath. Now if we play that back, we have created something completely different. It's sort of like what some TV shows do with their intros, where you see one shot of the star in action and then maybe a close-up of them smiling. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this. I want to see you put this knowledge to use. Make a video and let me know about it in the comment section below. I don't think YouTube lets you link a video directly in comments because of spam concerns, but you can just tell me about it. Say, hey, I made a video, it's called whatever, and I'll go to your channel and I'll find it and I'll leave you a big thumbs up for putting what you learned into action. I hope this video helped you out and I appreciate you giving me a couple minutes of your time today. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial, please let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.